Hello everyone, this is Gorax. Today I am excited to present to you new Star Soul Awakening. This time it will be Paladin. Paladin currently is still a solid tank in the game. Will the second awakening make him as strong as Devil? You can see that in Naga Test in my previous video. Will his caster form find the use? I will answer all these questions in today's video. First, will be Darmouth into Alamar a constant battle over the top spot? In the fights against Dungeon, I could see improvement over what was happening before the Star Soul Awakening. However, despite my efforts, I could not find a win. A dent in Alamar's formation was also impossible. Currently, there is nothing Darmouth can do in that matchup. So, if defensive Paladin upgrade not change the outcome, maybe the caster form well. Well, I benched Seraph and replaced Paladin tank with the Titan tank, and the outcome of the fights was the same. I lost. Paladin did not contribute to anything with low damage output. Oh well, maybe the issue was only with the Alamar. So I switched my opening to Samafi, which is another close matchup. However, Cov units do not use Paladin, so I can see the upgrade efficiency. On my first try, I could already feel the difference as Darmouth obliterated Cov. All the seats were still in favor of Darmouth, however, the fights were not so one-sided. Now was the time to test Caster version to see if he can dish out some good damage output. And on my first fight I lost. I mean, it might be the setup, so I checked the performance of Paladin and it was terrible. While previously going 3-0, this time I ended up 1-2-2. Two, two. This shows you how important the defensive paladin is in your formation. I decided in my next tests I will just skip the caster paladin as test server was up and down constantly so I did not want to waste too much time. I can always try it for you during my live streams. Most of you probably think that paladin is an upgrade directed toward pl players of tower. Well, you could not be more wrong. There are teams who benefit way more from that awakening than Darmouth. Here are a few examples, starting with Rampart. During my first fight, I used Light Dragon instead of Seraph as I found him performing quite well against the Warlock. And I was right. The damage spread was even between all my damage dealers and Melodia was victorious. Um, this matchup was somehow close previously, now Melodia is on top. I even tried different formations such as Druid instead of Judy with Max Banner and I was still successful, however, not always. Well, if I win against Alamar, I should have no issues to beat Darmouth. Sadly, the matchup is still in favor of the genie. However, when I used Kotos, I emerged victorious. This shows you the potential of this formation now with Paladin buffs and how good it is. The last matchup I wanted to try is against Kov and Necromix. And here again, I tried various formations and I had a 100% win ratio. But as we know, Kov has still the champion to come Kraken. So the matchup might change then. I will as always keep you updated. As some of you might know, lately I've been a huge fan of E9. Conflux Castle combo was surprisingly well matched. Alamar being the biggest threat, so obviously I started with that. While I could see the fights are way closer than before, I could still not feel too confident to say I am able to beat Alamar more times than I lose. Even mighty Kotos could not help me here. Next, I fought Samafi. Previously, I had on 
average 80% chance win, now it shifted to 100% with a domination of e9 side. This again shows how important champions and balance are as Kof is always last to receive new upgrades and it also shows that the Paladin Awakening helps the weaker teams. Stronghold recently received a big upgrade, Troll Banner. While it is not bad, the formation was lacking and proved not to be that strong except for where Kotos will replace Shaman. I did not want to do it in my first fights, so I started against Kov as it was 50-50 previously. However, now I was able to score way more wins than losses and I did not even use Kotos in that formation, which would make it even stronger. In my previous video, you could see how I tackled Alamar and while I could see potential, the upgrade of Paladin did not change the result and even mighty Kotos was not able to turn the tides. I still lost and it will only get harder in that matchup as there are no more upgrades coming for Stronghold except for the buffs announced earlier. Darmeth is another obstacle that Stronghold despite Paladin upgrade can't really touch at the moment. While Kotos might work for others in that matchup, it did not work for me, but hope is not lost as on top of Paladin, Stronghold is expecting buffs, so all of these fights might actually look totally different. In the end, Paladin Star Soul Awakening makes him a very beefy tank that can take the beating, however, the caster form is a big letdown. It is worth mentioning that there was no skill description available on the test server so I can't tell what he's supposed to do in that form. He also makes teams like Rampart and Conflux even stronger than they are currently are. Darmeth still wins the matchups she's supposed to while having an advantage against Kof but still getting demolished by Alamar. Stronghold can see an improvement as well and their buffs are now. What are your thoughts? Please share them in the comment section. If you like this video, please leave a like so I can continue providing you with such summaries. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Remember, membership grants exclusive perks, so make sure you check them out. Thank you for watching, stay safe, bye.